there. Let's do a little yoga-like stretch. We're gonna begin by just doing a couple of breaths. So bring your feet about shoulder width apart. Big inhale. Bring your exhale to your heart. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. In and out. Let's do a few trunk rolls. Just let your arms be limp. Relax your shoulders and your neck, and look behind you as you twist. Starting with our first gentle spinal twists. On the next one, go ahead and hold. Take a few breaths here. Release and switch other side. back to center. Let's roll our shoulders back. This is part of my morning ritual. I like to start my day with my workouts and I usually either begin or end my sessions, switch forward with this little practice. I think it's so important to stay limber and open and balanced and that's so true of our bodies and so true of life. Hands on your hips and let's roll those. And we're gonna switch directions and get right to business. So, I'd like you to start by bringing your feet close together so your toes are kind of kissing together. And let's take three more deep breaths. Inhale, reach up to the sky, exhale to your heart. Again, inhale and exhale. One more time, in and out. We're gonna bring our feet a little wider together. We'd like you to inhale, side bend, exhale, and release. We're gonna do three times on the third, we'll hold. Inhale, work that left arm down the leg and exhale. One more time and we'll hold for a few breaths. Try to keep an alignment on plane, gazing upward, but always make sure that your neck is nice and comfortable. And release, let's do the other side. Inhale and exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, work that right arm down the leg. And one more time, let's hold for a few breaths. release. I always like to warm up my back by rubbing my hands together, rubbing my back and kidneys, and let's do three half forward folds. So you're just going to go forward a little, inhale, exhale and come on back. I like to exhale through my mouth on this. Inhale and exhale and one more time. Inhale, and exhale. Now leave your hands on your lower back, kind of upper bum. Open up your heart, shoulder blades and elbows together. And just look up and take a few breaths, opening up your heart. It is helpful to keep your kind of bum muscles squeezed and it protects your lower back on this. Take another breath or two here and slowly release. Now let's reverse that by letting our arms dangle. You can keep your knees a little bit bent on this first forward fold-like action and just let your body dangle. Feel any tension or stress, just let go as you dangle there, relaxing the neck, the shoulders, and your back. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, slowly roll up. Take another deep breath in, and out. Bringing our feet together, we're going to go ahead and do a series now. We'll do one series on each side. They can be repeated if you like. Big inhale, like a swan dive. Exhale, forward fold, nice flat back. 
Inhale with a little release. And exhale down. Now you might need to bend your knees to place your hands on the floor and step back with your left leg. Nice and long, your front knee is behind your toes. And just hold here, push your hips down. Neck is in alignment, nice and long. Bring that hand to the inside of the foot and I'd like you to press down a little and feel that beautiful opening. Again, long neck, a few breaths here and release. Keep your left hand in place and you're gonna twist over that forward knee. Stretch that arm, push it up to the sky and push your bottom arm away from the earth. Keep your big toe of your front foot nice and flat and planted. Don't let it come up. And hold, breathe, and twist. Now we're gonna place that hand back down and step back with this leg. And we're holding in a plank position. Nice, strong plank. You might come forward a little on your toes Keep your elbows in and lower yourself down and then roll yourself up into upward facing dog. Nice long neck. Take a breath or two here, pushing away from the earth. Then fold those toes back under into downward facing dog. Try to push your heels towards the earth, pushing your arms out, nice strong back. Keep your thighs engaged, your hamstrings, and the arms. You might like to pump one leg at a time. Feel that stretch in the back of the calves. And then finally settling to both heels down. Now let's take your right leg and to extend it all the way up. Keep your arms nice and straight, equal weight on both arms. Bend your knee and draw it over to the side and feel that side body opening. Take a few breaths here. Equal weight on the arms, extend that leg back out and we're gonna go ahead and step through with that right leg and come on up. Opening up, lifting the chest and keep that front knee bent and feel the flexors open and feel your heart open to the sky. Then we're gonna switch it out into warrior two and then just make sure your hands are in alignment and hold here, your front knee is behind the toes. You're gonna to take your front hand, place it on the thigh, palm up and let's go ahead and Lift that upward arm towards the front of you and stay on plane and alignment here. Take a breath or two and then open back into that warrior pose. Take your back hand and place it on the thigh. Palm up and lift back. Take a few breaths. And come back into warrior. This time you're going to straighten your front knee, bring your rib cage forward, and place your hand either on your leg, ankle, or ground for your triangle pose. So you hold it where you can. Make sure you don't push it against your lock knee. And go ahead and feel this opening as you twist. Take a few breaths here. Slowly release, coming back up into warrior. And then we're gonna step forward and take a few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale and exhale. One more time, in and out. And just rest here for a moment. At any given time, if something is too difficult, you can always go into child's pose or right here and rest. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. 
Big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, little release. Exhale and deepen. This time we're going to step back with your right leg and hold. Nice long arms and long neck. Then let's bring both hands to the inside of the foot and draw down for the opening. Feels so good. Then slowly release. Draw that arm up and over the forward leg and hold for the twist. Pushing against the earth, lifting to the sky. Opening your heart upward. Keep your big toe planted. And bring that arm out and back and push back into your plank position. Forward slightly, elbows in up and through and hold into your upward facing dog rolling back into downward facing dog if you want to walk the dog by pushing your heels down wonderful if not just press them down push through those arms lift the hip So now we'll lift that left leg up towards the sky, bend the knee, and draw it over to the opposite side, keeping equal weight on your arms, opening up that side body. Take a few deep breaths here. This is one of my favorite stretches. Then draw the leg back straight, and go ahead and step forward into our first warrior. Lift your heart and lift your spirit. Moving into warrior two. Place your forearm on your front leg and that arm up and over on plane. Rib cage long, pushing that top arm forward. Slowly release, back to warrior. Place that back hand on the back of the thigh, palm up and over. Then back into warrior, straighten that front knee, rib cage comes forward and stretch through that triangle pose. You could be on your knee, on your shin, on that ankle or inside the foot. Taking another breath or two, slowly releasing back up into warrior, stepping forward to the heart. Relax your shoulders. Let's do three cleansing breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. In and out. Beautiful. Let's stay at our heart now. This is just a very simple daily ritual that I do to keep my body flexible along with other things as well. So let's take a few moments and put out the energy of love, peace, gratitude, healing, connection. Thank you, namaste. Have a great day.